in this example, we need to consider the production of sulfur dioxide from gypsum, our desired reaction at 1200 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere pressure. We are told that an undesirable reaction that also uses the same reactants can also occur and its equilibrium constant is also given. Furthermore, once we have formed the calcium oxide and some carbon dioxide according to reaction 1, these two components can react to form an undesirable side product calcium carbonate. Before we consider the questions that's asked, let's just see whether we can express this composition-based equilibrium constant that must be equal to 0 0.31 if equilibrium is reached for reaction 1. So for all the gas phase components, we are going to make our ideal gas assumption and we're going to express the fugacity of that component in the mixture as the partial pressure of that component. We have two solids or crystalline components in this reacting system, calcium sulfate and calcium oxide. Each of these solids forms its own separate solid phase in which its mole fraction is equal to 1 and subsequently this ratio for each of the solids becomes 1. If we now apply that, we can substitute in this expression for calcium oxide a 1 for that ratio. Then for each of the ideal gases, it's the partial pressure divided by the standard state pressure, partial pressure divided by the standard state pressure for the products. For the reactants, calcium sulfate, this ratio is equal to 1. And then the ideal gas analogy for our carbon monoxide. After simplifying, we can show the dependence of the equilibrium composition in the mixture with the equilibrium constant at the temperature and the pressure in our reacting vessel. We can now derive a similar expression for each of these reactions in terms of the equilibrium constant and the reacting pressure and the mole fractions in the gas phase.